Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on the wolf whistle, or the finger whistle, which is the whistle that you've probably seen someone do before, where they take their fingers and they stick them in their mouth, and they just make that super loud whistling sound that you can hear over a crowd or from very far away. It sounds just like this. Um, that is a much, much louder sound that I'm able to produce than using the uh, sort of the puckered lips method. Uh, if you do it loud enough, you can kind of uh, make your ears ring. It's very, very loud. So if that's your goal is to make a very loud whistling sound, this is the technique that uh, I was able to find that worked best for me. So I actually learned how to do this very recently, and I took notes during the learning process uh, over like all of the little mini sort of uh, breakthroughs I had or different things that I found that uh, I was missing to be able to complete the, the whistling sound. So uh, I will share each of those little uh, things with you. So hopefully if you're able to remember each of those and put them all together with some practice, you'll be able to produce the sound yourself. So uh, it's done in three steps. Step one is the easiest one. You just take your fingers and you make a diamond shape like this. The key is that your middle fingers contact each other. They don't have to press hard or anything. They just have to touch. And your pointer fingers touch your middle fingers. Uh, the knuckles down here, they don't really matter. The thumbs right here don't really matter. Just a shape like this and your fingers touch in the middle. Step two, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, fingers and use them to fold back your tongue uh, into, uh, into your mouth. So it looks like this. Huh? 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 And you can't really see inside my mouth because my fingers block it. So imagine this is my tongue. Um, what you're doing is you're taking your fingers and you're folding back your tongue such that the all of your, uh, the tongue meat and the tip, it all contacts just like this. So it folds back. This here is the underside of the tongue, and it's kind of right in the middle like that. Um, this is key to making the whistling sound. Um, if your tongue is kind of hovering like this, somewhere in that area, or it's uh, folded up like that, it's not going to make the sound. It really needs to fold back in on itself. I think the air goes over like this uh, to produce the sound. So um, you're going to, just to recap, take your fingers. Go like this, huh? fold back, huh? and step three is just closing the mouth. But uh, the two things to remember here are that you're closing the mouth such that the pointer fingers are sealing the sides. There's no air coming out this area. They're sealing it like this, huh? so there's only air coming out here. Uh, you might need to play around a little bit with uh, the shape of your lips uh, when you actually make the blowing sound. Uh, uh, that's kind of, I think, person by person. Um, the other thing to remember is that you want to close your mouth right on this first knuckle, right here. If you're too shallow, you won't get the sound. If you're too deep, you won't get the sound. So right on this first knuckle. So, so that's it. So just to recap, fingers like this, tongue out, fold back, close, like that. And then you blow, um, not like you would be blowing if you're whistling normally. When, when I whistle like this, uh, I feel that it's like... I'm using the air kind of in the front of my mouth. I'm not really blowing with my chest. When you do this one, when you're doing the wolf whistle, you really want to blow using your chest, kind of like a like that. And then uh, the shape that you're producing with your fingers and your tongue is what will produce the loud sound. So that's it. Um, just to give you guys a frame of reference for my own learning, um, it took me about uh, two or three minutes to even make like a faint sort of sound like that. Somewhere, and as soon as I found that, I kind of hone, tried to hone in on it. I tried to move it until I was able to get a more loud, like, <sighs> kind of like that. I just kept playing with it until it was getting louder and louder. Um, after about 20 minutes, um, I was able to produce my first real, like, triumphant blast, my first loud, loud sound, and I kind of stuck there and played with it. But of course, as soon as I took my fingers out and put them back in, I wasn't able to find it. It wasn't until about an hour of practice that I was able to remove my fingers from my mouth, uh, find the kind of steps in the shape, have the muscle memory to do it all so that I could actually produce the sound uh, every time. Uh, so that's it. Uh, good luck learning, and see you next time.